We had the Cubs on one station and the Blackhawks on the other. And the Blackhawks were down three to one, and the White or the Cubs were down nine three. So we said, "Oh, geez." Ah, filming live from a third-story one-bedroom apartment in North Mishawaka, Indiana. It's the Handlebar Growing Mustache Extravaganza with your host, Dave. Handlebar Mustache Show. Handlebar Mustache Show. Stash is looking great, but we can't be late for the Handlebar Mustache Show. Welcome back to Year 5, Day 54, Take 2, Humane Treatment Edition. Well... Uh, oh. some, uh, Fed, is that you? Yeah, yeah, I just had to switch over to speakerphone here. I had to get something I'm doing here working in the bathroom. Oh, well, we don't need to know about that so much. Um, so all this talk about Earth Day has got me thinking. You know, they have all these free-range chickens and cows that are on the free-range and pigs that are on the free-range. But in the end, they kill them all. Oh, sounds like you're gurgling. What's the point? Well, I guess they do it quickly. I'm not sure it'd be humane to kill somebody quickly. You wouldn't call that humane. Well, I guess the fact that they know they're going to kill them anyway, I guess give them the best life they can have so they get killed, right? So that's probably... The whole point of it, they're not, yeah. not like mass production. It's I like, mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to go without bacon or, you know, pork roast. Or, a good life. They'll just stuff them all in a, you know, in a big place just like their meat. You know, let them be there when their time's up and it's time to, you know, do like the settlers and everybody else did. That's just the way it is. Ah, yeah. uh, it's the old chain of command. Well, I feel a lot better about it now. Anyway, the Blackhawks won. Did you watch the game, Fat? Yeah, I watched the whole thing. I watched, uh, well, I, you know, when we were up one to nothing, then we went down three to one. I took a bit, quick, a bit of a break and um, trimmed my toenails and cleaned a bunch of stuff because I was nervous. So. Yes, that's one good thing about sports, I guess. And I turned it back in about. 15 minutes. I watched a little bit of NBA basketball, but that was so boring I couldn't stand that either. So I started cleaning stuff. So, yeah. well, there's not much more exciting than lose or go home. Yeah. So I had to tune back in, but I was a bit dismayed when we were down three to one. But apparently, I'm just a fair weather fan at times. Well, you gotta love them or hate them. But yeah, even with the teams I lost, sometimes I had to just not watch for a little bit because you know you're, you're crazy, you're gonna jinx them or something. Yeah. You know? Ah, uh, the old jinx. I is uh, live and well. I hear you. <laughs> I wore my nice goal accomplice shirt for last year's team, and then whenever I see a Blackhawk shirt, I say, "Go Hawks!" I don't care who it is. So that's yeah, pretty I good. Black, black and red, but no logos. I don't have a Blackhawk shirt anymore. That seems like every time I get one, it gets shrunk in the dryer. Oh yeah, I met a guy I used to work with at the brewery today. He was running a an operation out of the farmers market. Uh really? What kind of operation? Well, he wants a food truck, but no bank's going to give him any money. So he's there on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. He makes like um, some sort of Italian street food. Really? Yeah, but he's got the good cheese and the good gabagoo, and he makes like dough balls. I oh, think. He's not getting any static from the old health department, huh? I guess not. He's there all the time. Oh, that's cool. He wants to know what he's doing. So, he, he said he went to IUSB's small business degree. Entrepreneurial small business, he said. He even had an assistant. She looked like a, an assistant that a, a magician would have. She was, like, totally hot and overdressed. 
sparkly as Yeah, so she must be he must be doing something right to have a lovely assistant like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he did a good game plan. So. so this kid's going places. Yep. So I'm gonna try to support him when I go. His stuff is like five bucks, I think. I'll go there. The one on Northside Boulevard there? Yeah, yeah. Northside Boulevard. Yeah, he's, uh, I'm not sure if he's got a fixed location or he, he moves around or not, but. No, 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 what is it? Does he have a name or he just says. It's uh, Giuseppe Street Food. Giuseppe's? Giuseppe? I heard of Giuseppe, I think. That's uh, Italian for Joe, I guess. His name's Joe. Joe Raymond. Huh. I think his dad was a photographer for the South Bend Tribune. Well, that's really strange because I know his dad, and his, his dad grew up down the street from me, three or four houses. So that's really funny. I know Joe Raymond, I know Steve Raymond, I know uh, Chip, who was, uh, maybe, his, maybe his, yeah, Chip is Joe Raymond, yeah, yeah. That was his dad's nickname, Chip. Oh, it's a small world after all. Yeah, yeah. And Steve Raymond... And, uh, yeah, yeah. Huh. Huh. So, anyway, he's doing good. He moved to Portland for a while, and Portland's, like, totally anti-corporate. So, like, all the restaurants are, like, real weird variations of stuff. Like, they wouldn't have a Hacienda. Yeah, we all grew up on the same street. They were all older than me, but I knew all of them, okay? Right. My sister, my sister's we're good friends with him. So, his name is Mary Raymond and Lily Raymond and Mr. Raymond was super cool. I remember him when I was a kid. I can't, uh, Vin, Vinny. Yeah, he claims he's Italian, so I believe him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Vinny was an Italian as they come. And I can't remember the mom's name, but there's a big family, big family. And guess what? I heard that, you know, they're building that big power plant in New Carlisle. Yeah. I guess the next thing that is going to come is a, a big Toyota plant. Big what? Toyota. Oh, Toyota's coming out there? That's what the word on the street is. Huh. Hot takes, tonight only. So there's gonna be lots of jobs coming up. Huh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Things are finally turning around for old us. That's good. We're finally on the map. It's our chance to make it big. Yes. Well, I've probably said too much. Yeah, just enough. Oh, in that case, knock on wood, keep it classy in the web. And until I see you mañana, I mean el lunes, I bid you all arrivederci and adieu. Oh, that was nice.